to Ump Attire. Here's a crew how-to on getting your shoes game day ready. We're gonna do this with these steps, scrubbing, brushing, polishing, buffing, and shining. For the purposes of this video, I'm gonna use my Mizuno plate shoes, but these steps are great for any officiating shoe, uh, New Balance, plate, field, three and two, anything with like a really good leather upper. Um, just take the scrubbing portions for fabric tops uh, and skip polishing. Also pay attention to on your shoes where white portions are, either on the base of the shoe, the midsole, or just certain locations above on the upper part of the shoe. To start the process, I've got my shoe here. I put my hand into it just to hold it. I leave the laces in so the, the shield's not flapping around and I can really control it. And what I'm gonna do is just kind of knock off dust and dirt from the body of the shoe. Come under, knock off what's underneath the shield. Since I've already polished my shoe, I'm not gonna use the Restore Shoe Shampoo all over the top of the shoe because I don't wanna take the polish that I've already layered on here, but I will use this Restore Shoe Shampoo to clean the midsole of these shoes. So I'll just decompress the plunger that's on there to squeeze out some of the solution. And I'll just go around the base of the shoe. This is getting and digging into the dirt and grime that sets in. You can do this with white bottom shoes. This really takes the stains out. And I'll come back with a rag. This is just a, a old kitchen rag that I keep in my bag. And just come along and wipe out that shoe shampoo residue off. You don't want to take it all over again, because. I have polish on there and I don't want to scrub my polish off. You come back with your horsehair brush and really dry out that shoe shampoo that's set into those creases. To start the polishing process, I'm going to take the shoelaces out so that they so I can get polish on every portion that I want to and I don't need the sh the laces in there, especially on the inside where these eyelets are. I want to be able to polish those as well. With plate shoes, it's important to hold on to the shield because that's where it's connected at when you're working with your shoes because you don't want it to be a lot of stress working it around. So I keep my thumb on the front of the shoe just to stabilize it. Now that we have the shoe all nice and clean, we've removed as much dirt as possible, we're gonna come in with our Padag Black Polish and apply this polish by sponge applicator all over the top the inside here, try to avoid your white logos. If a catcher or somebody ever steps on your shoes, this is a good way to remove and fill in scratches. Now that we've got polish on the shoe, it goes on wet, we need to wait for that to dry. Give it about 10 minutes to fully dry in all your sections, because remember you did underneath, you did the top, toe, and around. Just make sure all these spots are good and dry so that when you take your brush, you come back and you remove dried, polished, where it hasn't, where it, where it's just resting on top. That's the thing, we wanna leave a nice layer of dried polish that shines and buffs well. So you see the polish is dried with this matte kind of dull finish. What we're gonna do is start by taking our horsehair brush and just buffing the shoe. Um, it's good to like get a good grip on it. You can go from the bottom here and then quickly go across the shoe Buffing and brushing, it's important. When you get to this point where you're fighting the guard, you wanna make sure it's it's nice and secured. Again, you don't wanna beat that up. So now you can really see the, sh the difference in what that dull dried polish looks like. Now we have a, a vibrant shine, black shine to this shoe. If we can go a little bit further and I credit Ray Brownlee with this, with Ump Life, showing me this step. We take some nylon, put your hand in it, and then just kind of go over the shoe again, hitting all of the spots, targeted with your fingers, and all over these smaller creases, because the nylon here is picking up another, just another thin layer of polish and shining up what's, what's left over. This is also good to get the inside here all right, so I'm pretty happy with the turnout here. Now the nylon, you can tell, just added another 
layer of shine, it really pops, again, because we're taking out a dull section of the polish that's been dried on there. The last and final step is I like to take the shine sponge, and if I've got, say like, the night before is the best time to do it, because this goes on wet, and it's just this, uh, a, a, a light layer of this, this uh, solution that's in the sponge. You want to give it like five hours, six hours to nice and dry, because you go out there on like a dirt field, and you'll start accumulating dirt easier because this, again, goes on wet and it needs a little bit longer time to dry out and really set in a nice shine. It's immediate, the, the, the additional shine, but you'll start accumulating dirt real quick if you're on the field. Even a turf field just gets dusty. And now that the shine sponge on there, it just really pops, almost looks like a uh, patent leather when you get it done, just really looks nice and it shines and it shows the professionality that umpires uh, deserve. Now that we have our laces back on our shoes, we're ready to go work a game. You can tell the difference between the applied polish here, this is the, this is the, you know, the base layer that we're gonna start with, and now going through the polishing and buffing of a horsehair shoe brush, the nylon, and then the shine sponge, you can tell that we're ready for a game, we care about what we're doing, and so will the fans and the coaches on your field. Thank you for joining us for another Crew How To, this on cleaning and polishing your officiating shoes. I used six products. I brought these two from home, the nylon and the towel. These four, the brush, the dag polish, the restore shampoo, and the sign sponge you can get at umpatire.com, your number one online retailer and leading authority in sports officials gear and apparel.